What's up, Star Atlas? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you see behind me here, the Star Atlas Golden Era releases December 14th. This is a 3D version of what we've been playing in Sage Labs. Maybe not all the features at first, but let's get into it. We'll go over some of the news, also look at what it may look like, and then we'll wrap up with some of our plans for the channel concerning this release. So let's read this post by Star Atlas here first. The golden age of space exploration calls to you. Play the first 3D pre-alpha build of Star Atlas Golden Era on December 14th. Traverse the Gallia expanse, extract resource and craft items. You guys know it. We've been doing it in a Sage Labs, but now we get our first version in 3D dropping tomorrow, December 14th. That is if you're watching this on the day it re releases. Um, super excited about it. As we know, we've been waiting for a release called Star Based, which is where we will work with our faction to craft a Star Base, Star Bases and kind of compete with the other factions uh, in Star Atlas. So that's gonna be super fun. But before that, we need to get out and work out all the kinks of the Star Atlas 3D version. Um, a little note here, um, I'm gonna jump over to a tweet from Michael Wagner, the CEO of Star Atlas. Uh, give some thoughts and then also uh, tempers expectations with this release. Uh, check out this initial implementation of our 3D browser version of Sage coming on Thursday. And I just want to remind everyone the entire suite of implementations, UE5, Play Canvas, which is this, Labs, and Mobile are all interoperable. The Star Atlas economy is live now. I know that um, many people have been coming over from Star Citizen and other space-based games and are really just interested in the Unreal Engine gameplay. And they've asked me like, hey, you know, how do I start in this? Or like, where do I really go when I'm not interested in that? And I think this tweet really um, points to it well. That's like, we are building towards that, but this is all one, you know, universe. So you're going to be way ahead of other players if you get started um, in Sage. If you learn Sage, you get out there, you you start crafting and start mining, you know, all of that. It, it really starts now. <laughs> so um, that's a reason to maybe jump in and play um, around with this, even though you may just be interested in the UE5 game. To be clear, I do expect this launch to be a bit bumpy. Labs is always a fallback if you run into issues. I'm taking the approach of shipping fast and shipping early, even with known bugs, bugs present. Fun to see all the same. So this is kind of a new approach from Michael Wagner. Just release it to the people. <laughs> we'll give you guys the feedback. The team will then, you know, fix stuff on the back end. Cool, I like it. Um, now, I do wanna get into what this will look like, and we do have a hint from Breakpoint this year uh, during the Star Atlas session. I've skipped ahead here um, to the Starbase little trailer that they have going on, but really a lot of what they show here is what's gonna be in the 3D version of Sage. This is what it looks like, um, and this is what we're building towards. So we can see our ships flying around. We can see the sector complete, you know, asteroids, the planets, the central space station, or just the space station of that sector. Um, really, really cool stuff. We see some mining going on with that, with the flashing over there. Um, so this really just brings this universe alive for me. We've been playing on Sa Sage Labs, which is just kind of like a map, and you can see like little cursors, you know, moving around, which is cool. Like I can still put myself into that gameplay, but this is just another level. This is great for content. Um, I don't know if it's great for streaming, but we're going to give it a shot. As you can uh, see here that um, they're doing a mining process right now. It looks like hydrogen is over on these asteroids here. 
So that's what it's going to look like when your ship is mining. Um, and then you'll get to see all your current resources and stats that you have on your ship um, over on that little sidebar that just disappeared there. I like it. I'm wondering if there's going to be like scanning when it first comes out. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it'd be, there's a tractor beam. That's cool. And it shows, <laughs> it, shows it being pulled there. Uh, I'm nerding out kind of right now. Um, you know, all this stuff might not be on the exact initial release uh, on the 14th, but you know, it'll be added quickly. So don't expect all the features from Sage Labs to be, you know, during that release as well. Um, they're going to have to play a little bit of catch up, right? Because Labs has been going and it's much easier to fix stuff um, on that kind of game. So we get into some crafting here. I know I love crafting. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried it, but yeah, there's just something about like doing the whole loop, going out to the asteroids, mining, bringing it back, crafting, and then either like just, you know, saving all those materials that you've crafted or, you know, selling them on the marketplace, up to you. I'm saving them for Starbase. Let me know what you guys are doing down in the comment section. Now, let's get into um, what this channel will do with this. I put out a post yesterday talking about how I want to live stream it. Uh, Michael Wagner <laughs> gave a warning as a reply, like, hey, it might be broken, just so you know. So I think we'll do a live stream nonetheless. We'll try it out. If it's broken, we'll have some like fun star atlas live stream catch up. Maybe jump over to labs, um, you know, do something fun. Um, but from there, I really want to get into more educational content, especially going into the next year. So we'll be doing some of that with this 3D. But I kind of want to start live streaming, find a good day, find a good time and um, build the live streams towards the UE5 version um, sounds like a plan. Sounds like 2024. <laughs> Let's go get it. Let's have fun uh, with this new release, guys. And I'll see you over there. If you have any questions, let me know again down in the comments. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.